The northeastern route of Kenya is mainly a camping expedition run in 4x4s or overland trucks. It traverses along some of Africa's harsh habitat track and sea wildlife endemic with beautiful mountain and landscapes. Surrounded on all sides by a hot dust desert named Chalbi. The Chalbi Desert is the only true desert in East Africa. Apart from the spectacular scenery, the culture diversity consisting of 14 tribes of the northern Kenya. That makes the most lasting impression nomadic pastoralists such as Gabra, Turkana, and Sambul, whereas to the strictly traditional lifestyles and this is practically unique in the modern East Africa. Such journey is for true overland explorers and travelers like us who want to get off the tourist beaten track. My most favorite track of all time is a lifelong experience to do. Here we are, this is a dusty, rocky section, and after rain, extremely, extremely, and this is what we have been looking for. And we are super excited, excited for such kind of uh, safari, off-road, such kind of mix-up. We love it so much. Uh, we appreciate all it. It's what to do. It's what to do. And today we wanted to push uh, big boy Simba to its limits. My name is Noor Ismail Nozzle, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. Chalbi Desert Named by the Gabra people which means bare salty area. The Chalbi Desert is a small desert in the northern Kenya near the border with Ethiopia east of Lake Turkana and contains not all. Marsabet is the closest major urban center. Chalbi Desert is the hottest and most arid area in Kenya. Average daytime temperature range from 43 to 46 degrees Celsius, whereas the temperature drops to around 14 to 50 degrees Celsius at night. The area experiences two dry seasons and two rainy seasons. Driving along bumpy African roads in a 4x4 Land Cruiser, we visit isolated small villages rift valley lakes and wild places that few get to see taking in spectacular scenery on our travels this is one in a lifetime destination
Leave the tarmac and the city light behind on this unusual journey into remote and sparsely populated northern region of Kenya. Here you will meet an unusual traditional tribes of Kenya, experiencing Samburu, Gabra and Turkana cultures among others. East of the remote Lake Turkana is the Chalbi Desert, a 100,000 square kilometers area equivalent to 38,610 square miles, named in the native language of the Gabra people as Salty and Bear. You can create your own road. Yeah, that's it is what it is. As you can see, this is from Land Cruiser in front of us on the right hand side, cruising the desert. Wow, this is the middle of nowhere. Emptiness as a uh, quest searching for emptiness. Wow. Remote, the most remotest part of the world. This is a child because the north part of Kenya, on the between the and the edge near the border, the Chocolate border. And here is a child because we are right now in the middle of the desert, as you see cruising. And this is also the motive which drive this trip was. Uh, uh, searching for emptiness and cruise the desert cruise and i think we made it yeah we made it yeah we have achieved one of the many goals also in our bucket list uh, searching for to for the remotest part of the world where you can drive for hours without seeing a mankind even animal can't live here this is the desert sure super super excited today to achieve such uh, Tremendous, incredible adventure safari in the desert. But imagine this is a desert in Africa, not the Middle East, not in North Africa. Desert in East Africa, the only desert in East Africa is Chalbi. And here we are right now, we are really enjoying the, the desert sun tunes. As you can experience the vehicle in front of us, it's cruising the desert, desert cruise as well. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. We are cruising at 100 kilometers per hour. Can yeah, you imagine so that? You can create your own road, you can yeah, create your own really, roundabout, really, really. you can create your own bridge. Yeah, so you there's no traffic law, matters here, there's no traffic law. But only traffic, traffic light. light. We have traffic light. We have traffic light, no traffic law. Apply the distance to the middle, the really the remote, the most remote part of the world. excited incredible safari rally in the desert with the any intercontinental adventure crew members we are super 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 excited to cruise the desert desert i think very soon you're gonna approach the sun dunes uh to really 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 incredible safari and the desert rally uh Wow, the world fell me, but it really, really, for the moon is super excited. Uh, it's a really incredible, incredible. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy, crazy, crazy driving here. You made your own, own trail, you make your own track. Uh, you, there's no traffic complaints here. And as we see the salt pan, it's really flat land. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. It can't get better than this. And this is Overland Adventure Travel Show in the desert, north part of Kenya, uh, near the Ethiopian border, as I say, in the eastern part of Lake Turkana. Wow, really, it's amazing, yeah? Scenery, it's just epic scenery. 
and what you can see here the place of the camels which you can visible see here the only cable and there's no uh, I can't tell you when the she's experienced that uh, showering or what the rain been dropping this desert is really crazy crazy you'll no wonder but there's no wonder how people can live in such such kind of harsh extremely uh, tough terrain, rough terrain uh, but it's epic, it's really epic and amazing, amazing man really amazing in the middle of nowhere and here we are, this child with the escort let's enjoy the drive the cruising, desert cruise as well is one of the motive which is driving this expedition of 2022 Uganda, uh, not Uganda, from Uganda to Kenya and this is the only day, only uh, epic adventure uh, from the northeastern Kenya and this uh, sense of joy and excitement uh, of achievement of one of many goals on our bucket list really it was a we, we, we don't even imagine that we will end up in such kind of terrain when you just no living being there's no man human mankind here uh, just trees, stick and birds uh, flying their feathers on top of the desert wow that's amazing 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 i think now it's uh, promising that we are approaching the civilization and sea experience and uh, one since we started with the only human being we The only first one human being we have ever one, seen. Since we drive for more than three, four hours. Yeah. It's the only human being we have ever seen. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. I wonder what human being we have ever seen. Isn't that a home? Yeah. What's that white thing? them as well and uh, their uh, story of this desert is a story as uh, we are still enjoying the same sense but I think very soon we will not reach this civilization story of the long drive really a long drive in the emptiness most remotest part of Kenya is child desert the only desert in East Africa wow so amazing I can't imagine this, you drive for 150 kilometers. At one of the town. Yeah, 150 kilometers, and then you, then you drive 120, you don't meet any human being. Yeah, it's amazing. No, no sign of a living person around. Yeah. No homes, no nothing. No nothing. Neither of nowhere in the emptiness. Uh, we sometimes we call it a land of fear, where fear is not an option, it's permanent. Because living in a such kind of remote, and they have no one to support you. And if you find yourself screwed in such kind of environment, then you're going to be really ridiculously screwed. That's extremely really wonderful. Wonderful. And now we are seeing some sense of feeling, the sense of uh, uh, the humidity, uh, increase of temperature in the desert. But we have armed ourselves with the teeth. On road on such kind of terrain, emotionally, physically, ready to go. And the big boy is losing brilliantly in the desert. Today is the first time him to come and see with naked eyes the desert. He never cruised. I think he's more than happy. Big boy and producer of the next series, Double Cab is more than happy, 4.2 liters. Yeah, he's more than happy to cruise in desert, dusty, rough terrain, extremely harsh conditions. And here we go. Super, super excited to be here. It was one of our goals to be achieved. I think we count today, it was really, we better count that the fishing day, huh? Fishing day, big fish. 
Yeah, really. Hey, now I can see now the vehicle coming the opposite direction of trafficking. I have no idea, maybe it's a truck, so I need to park again to get away. But, alright, and here we are. It's a desert. Emptiness. Nothing, like nothing is you can't find here. Very fast yep. uh, vehicle we are fast meeting. Truck since we are meeting the from the op opposing direction. Yeah, sure. And it's a truck, so the we will truck, figure yeah. out what it has been doing. Yeah, because it's a truck. Like many of the areas in the northern frontier, the desert was once part of an intensive lake, as evidenced by the basin that fills with shallow water during heavy rains. Northern Kenya is not densely populated, termed and often barren. Visiting those parts is like living this 21st century. It is an explorer's heaven, and a variety of tribes that live here are some of the most captivating people in the world. They include the Samburu, Turkana, Rendil, Boran, Gabra and El Molo. Stay tuned. Yeah. Subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.